All right, so the next part is we're gonna come up with a question uh, to test, and we do this a lot, but it doesn't hurt to review. Um, what is a testable question? A testable question are different from other types of questions in that the answers must be supported by evidence, usually gathered through experimentation or investigation. So for example, a question like, um, what is the best uh, show on Netflix? Not really testable, it's a matter of opinion. We need facts and data to back it up. Testable questions require changing one variable to determine the effect on another variable. How does the amount of nitrate in soil affect the number of flowers and plants? So one is the amount of nitrate, that's a variable. The numbers of flowers is a, another variable. How does increasing the initial velocity of a rocket affect its maximum height? That's related to what we're doing today. One variable is initial velocity. The other variable is maximum height. So to write a testable question, we need to choose the variable that will be manipulated or changed, what the scientist changes, which is the independent variable. And we need to measure um, something which is the dependent variable. Again, nothing new, we've been doing this um, all along. So in this question, the amount of nitrate, the scientist is changing that, so that's the independent variable. And the number of flowers is what we're measuring, so that is the dependent variable. The increasing initial velocity of the rocket is the independent variable, because we're changing the initial velocity and the maximum height is the dependent variable. That is what we're measuring. All right, so for our, um, our question, we have a bunch of different options here. So we can do the angle of the launch. These are all things that we can change. The initial speed, the mass of the projectile, the size of the projectile, and air resistance. Things that we can measure is the time in the air, the distance traveled, and the maximum height. So for us, um, you're welcome to explore whatever you like, but I'm going to take a look at these two. So I'm going to choose the size of the projectile and the distance traveled. So that is what I'm going to measure. Um, and that's what you're going to see on screen. So um, you're about to design an experiment to learn more. If we were in class, we would uh, we would think together in our groups which two we would want. Like I said, these are the ones that I chose, size of the projectile and the distance traveled. So my question is going to look like this. And we're all going to copy this one down. How does the size mass of the projectile, this would be like the rocket is our projectile, that's how far it travels. That's the distance, okay? So again, these were our variables. How does the size of the projectile uh, affect the distance? I'm noticing that mass and size are both here. I'm gonna go with mass. So let me get rid of this. The mass of the projectile, okay? So how does the mass, how heavy the projectile is affect how far it travels, okay? So uh, we're going to pause there and uh, write that question down, and then I will meet you at the hypothesis slide. 